Hi, good evening everyone. Let us talk now about the key similarities and difference among the developing countries. And the first part that I want to go ahead and talk about that is basically the level of income and productivity. So when we talk about the income between the different countries, it has been seen that there has been a huge gap between the income and productivity across countries. Of course, aap khud socho. Isn't it that on the basis of countries, we have gone ahead and we have defined the many kind of countries. Low income country, middle income countries, high income countries. So it is on the basis of the of the income that we have gone ahead and defined the different types of countries. And when the income will differ, you will invest differently in human capital. Jab income hi alag hogi, to education pe alag investment raega, health pe alag investment raega. And when there will be different amount of investment in health and education, you will have different amount of productivity across countries. Countries ke across jo productivity raiga wo bhi differ hoga. So when there will be low level of the income, there will be a vicious circle that will set in. Matlab, income kam hai, so people will invest less in education and health. When people will not be educated, when people will not have good health, they will not be productive. When people will not be productive, they will have less income. So it's a vicious circle. Low income, low capabilities, low health, low education, low health, low education to low income. Okay. So you will set into a vicious circle. Okay. Jahan pe jab income kam hoga, when there will be low income, there will be low investment in education, health, plant and equipment and infrastructure. And when there will be low investment in these things, it will lead to low productivity and economic stagnation. So here I can just make this graph better. This circle, sorry. So low income, low education, low health, less, instead of low, just write less, huh? Less productivity. Kam productive hoonge to kam income kam aenge. Right? Less, less output, less output, less income. Thik hai. Thus, low income, least developing countries have diverse problems. Right? So now, I will take some example. So, pehle hum example lenge bita South Korea and Taiwan ka. It has been seen that these are the new star performers and Earlier, they were the poorest countries in the world. But slowly, we saw that they have started to change and started to grow. So, we are looking at the disparity among the different kind of countries. We are countries at disparity. Dekh rahe. So, there have been some countries which were earlier among the poorest countries of the world. Shuru mein wo poor thi, but now, they have started doing well. On the other hand, there are also some middle income countries who have now become stagnant. Pehle unka growth sahi dikh raha tha, but ab wo dheer dheer stagnant ho gai hai. And there have been some other countries also, which now have rapidly started growing. Wo bhi middle income countries thi, but unme ab growth dekha gaya hai. It has been seen that countries like India, China, etc. They are growing. So, sometimes there is this theory, which some people suggest, that the size of the population and development are related to each other. Aisa bola jata hai ki jis mein bohat jaga bola jata hai ki jahaan pe population bohat zyada rahega, the development will be low. And population kam rahega, development can be high. So here we want to highlight that there is no correlation between the country size of population and economic development. Population mein or economic development mein ki kitna population hai or kitna development hoga, there is no correlation. It has been seen that if we look at 12 most populous countries of the world, 
अगर हम कंट्री की सबसे ज्यादा बारह सबसे ज्यादा वो कंट्रीज निकालें जहां पे पॉपुलेशन बहुत ज्यादा है तो उन बारह कंट्रीज में से कुछ कंट्रीज लो इनकम कंट्री कुछ कंट्रीज लो मिडिल इनकम कंट्री कुछ कंट्रीज अपर मिडिल इनकम कंट्री और कुछ कंट्रीज हाई मिडिल इनकम कंट्रीज में आएंगी राइट सो इवन दो ऑल ऑफ देम हैव पॉपुलेशन विच इज हाई चारो बारह के बारह कंट्रीज का पॉपुलेशन बहुत ज्यादा है ऑल दीज ट्वेल्व कंट्रीज हैव हाई पॉपुलेशन इट हैज बीन सेइंग सीन दैट दे आर स्प्रेड अक्रॉस दीज कैटेगरीज ऐसा नहीं है कि वो सबके सब लो इनकम में है या सबका सब लो मिडिल इनकम में है सो ब्रेकिंग द फैक्ट दैट देर इज नो को रिलेशन बिटवीन द पॉपुलेशन साइज एंड द इनकम ऑफ द countries right so we can say that there is no correlation between country size and economic development similarly if i look at 12 least populous countries we see the same thing that they are divided in all four categories so we can go ahead and say that there is no correlation between the two right okay so that's the first key difference in terms of that we wanted to discuss which is on the basis of level of income and productivity okay beta